Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of false prophets who come to you in cheap clothing, but underneath are ravenous wolves. By their fruits you will know them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from this list? Yes, so every good tree bears good fruit, and a rooted tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a rooted tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. So by their fruits you will know them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this gospel that we just heard, we see that Jesus is warning us about the false prophets, about the false pastors. Nowadays, we need to be really careful about this because there could be some people that are teaching everything wrong and that they're not being faithful to the teachings of Christ. And we need to pay attention to this because this is something serious. We want to be saved by the teachings of Christ, not by the teachings of these false prophets. We need to remain faithful to our Lord who died for us on the cross, who carried the cross out of love for you and for I. He was crowned with thorns, with a crown torn. Now, you and I, we need to say, Lord, thank you, because you have done all of that for me. Now I want to return this love to you. You showed me your love. Now I want to respond to the love with love. And how can we love God? How can we manifest our love to God? We have the Ten Commandments. That they are like lamps that guide us on our way in our lives. The first three commandments, they put us in a relationship towards God. And then the seven, the rest of the seven, is the relationship that we have with our neighbors and how we need to be towards them, how we need to behave towards our neighbor. You should honor your mother and your father. You should not kill. You should not steal. Now, this is something that will guide us in life. And it's not a limitation. But the commandments, the Ten Commandments, will make us free. Free from slavery. Because we are, we could be slaves of sin, arrogance, pride. And Jesus wants to make us free. And this Ten Commandments are like lamps that will sh light up the way that we should walk. Now, we need to be grateful to God because remember too the Gospel of Luke. It talks about the ten lepers who were healed by Jesus, but only one of them was able to return to Jesus and say, Thank you. I glorify you. I thank you because you have healed me. He was speaking about physical healing. But Jesus knew that this man was also being saved. He was not just being healed from the physical illness, but he was being saved in Jesus Christ. Jesus wondered, and where are the rest? Where are the nine? There were ten of you. Where are the other nine? I invite you and I that we should unite to this only 10% that goes back to God and tells Him, Lord, I thank you. I thank you because you have healed me. I thank you because you have saved me. I thank you because you have shown me your love on the cross. You have died for me on the cross. St. Paul of the cross said that the greatest shame of Christians is to forget that Christ died for us on the cross. What a shame. What a shame. We should be acknowledged. 
conscience that Christ died for us on the cross, for you and for I. And this should put us and push us to thank God that He loved us so much. Now we want to respond to this love by saying, Thank you, Lord, because you have healed me. Thank you, Lord, because you have saved me. By their fruits, you will know them. The gospel, Jesus was speaking about the false prophets. But this passage, this verse, we can apply it to ourselves as believers, as Christians, as Catholics. We should be known by our fruits. And what fruits are we given? Because a good tree gives good fruit. A bad tree gives bad fruit. A grateful person is capable to be grateful to God and to bear good fruit. This is the root. Gratitude. Gratitude is the root for someone to be grateful for someone to give good fruit. On the other hand, a person that is ungrateful is ungrateful with God and is ungrateful with his neighbor. We need to aim to be grateful towards our Lord and also to love him with deeds. Lord, I love you. I want to love you. Show me how to love you. Let us ask our Blessed Mother, to show us how to love Jesus. She, the woman who loved Christ like no one else, she can teach us how to love Jesus, our Lord, and then we can bear good fruits. By their fruits, you will know them.